Romeo and Juliet Valentine cancellation. Postmaster, 119 Church Street, Romeo, Michigan, 48065-9998. Now remember, there's no deadline for this year's pictorial cancellation. However, please allow normal mailing time standards in order to guarantee timely delivery before Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. The Romeo VFW Post is looking for new members. Post Chaplain Dick Cable is here to tell us more about the membership drive. Hello, my name is Dick Cable and I serve as the chaplain for our Veterans of Foreign War Post here in Romeo. Our Striver McVicker Post 2052 is located at the north end of Romeo on McVicker Road. A little bit of history. The VFW of the United States was incorporated in 1936. The purpose of all VFW posts are fraternal, patriotic, historical, charitable, and educational. These include the following objectives. To preserve and strengthen comradeship among its members, to assist worthy comrades, to perpetuate the memory and history of our dead and to assist their widows and orphans, to maintain allegiance to the government of the United States and the fidelity to its constitution and laws, to foster true patriotism, to maintain and extend the institutions of American freedom, and to preserve and defend the United States from all enemies. It's obvious from these seven purposes that there are many facets to our organization. A bonding is developed among members when a comrade is in need of a helping hand. Many hands are available to provide this service. Keeping members informed of benefits they have earned and are entitled to is an important function of the VFW. Supporting our National Home for Children located in Eaton Rapids, Michigan, provides help to our departed comrades, widows, widowers, and children. Our presence at Veterans Day and Memorial Day festivities pay tribute to our veterans, both living and dead. We contribute to many worthy organizations, such as the Handicap Fund for Children, uh, scholarship funds, local community projects, relief funds, and many, many others. We have a number of activities, most of which are held at the post, which help generate funds for accomplishing our objectives, as well as to promote comradeship and bonding. We have cookouts, drawings, organized outings, and karaoke, horseshoe games, pool, shuffleboard, and darts. Our adjoining hall has many functions, some of which are breakfasts, weddings, showers, bachelor parties, card games, and funeral luncheons. At this time, we invite all eligible veterans who have served overseas to join our post and receive the many benefits available to them. To join the VFW, you will need a copy of your discharge, DD-214, and after reviewing it, we will inform you of your eligibility status. You can contact Dick Rinke, our quartermaster, at 586-752-3949, uh, or myself, Dick Cable, at 586-752-5992 for further information. In addition, if you join our post before Memorial Day, May 31st, 2010 of this year, the post will pay your entire first year dues. That's all of 2010. Looking forward to meeting you prospective members soon and helping you become part of our organization, the Romeo VFW. Have a good day, God bless, and keep you in his love. February 27th is the date set for the Escape School Child Abduction Prevention Workshop for children ages five and up and their parents. The program teaches children to recognize strangers not by how they look, but how they act. Seating is limited, so to reserve a seat, call the Ray Township Senior Center at 586-749-5171. This workshop is free of charge. And now, here's Paul 
with Bulldog Sports. Thanks, Jeannie. The varsity swim team dove into the pool against the Dakota Cougars last week and they got dunked. The Cougars won 101 to 85. Here with a recap is coach Sue Trush. And hi, I'm Sue Trush and I'd like to introduce you to Matt Ruman, captain of the Romeo Bulldogs. And Matt, how did you feel that your team uh, swam tonight overall? Uh, we started off kind of slow and then we eventually we started picking it up and we did uh, pretty good with the finish too. Okay, great. And I, I thought the team swam well. I, I, I was really impressed by so many of the guys. I thought that um, they had some really wonderful personal bests. Truly, I, I thought that you guys did a really, really good job. I noticed that you were in three relays, one individual. Was that specific to try to um, take maybe all the relays with you in it, or, or was that a specific strategy? Uh, no, not really. I swam that almost the whole season okay. and just kept with it. Okay, great. And uh, how, how are things looking for the county meet? How many, a lot of guys qualify? You guys kind of psyched up? Uh, I know uh, you're yeah, the defending we, county champs. We got a lot of guys, uh, we got a lot of guys that made it and uh, pretty much we're going to go out and try to win it and just do always, our best. Always, always. And, uh, and for you personally, uh, for the season, I know you, you, uh, you've done a great job. I, you qualified for state last year individually in the 53. Uh, well, Did with you? the relay. With the relay. Um, I've got to believe you're going to try to gun for the 53 this year yeah, individually. Definitely. How close are you? Um, my fastest time is a 23-3. And it's a 22.89. So. Okay, so you're about five tenths off, yeah. four, four or five tenths off. Got to keep your eyes on Matt Ruman because he's going for the state meet, and you have a lot more meets to go. I got to yeah. believe the county meet's really going to challenge you. Yeah. Um, I think overall you did a great job. And um, in, any other impressions of the team? Well, how do you think the team overall this year is is coming together? Uh, we're coming together pretty well. A lot of kids are starting to really swim good in practice and it's definitely going to show up in the meets. Great, great. Well, I want to thank you for uh, talking with me for Channel 6, and I wish you a lot of luck the best of the season, and good luck when you do make the state meet in Highland. Thank so you. So thank you. And I'd like to just thank you for uh, tuning in. This is uh, Sue Trush for the uh, Romeo swim team and the meet against De uh, Dakota. And I'd like to thank Channel 6 and WBRW for coming to the meet tonight and broadcasting it. We'll see you again for the last home meet in February when the Romeo team takes on Lance Cruz. There was a doubleheader of varsity basketball action at the Big Red Barn last week. First up was the girls varsity team taking on our neighbors to the southeast, the Eagles of Eisenhower. It was looking pretty bad for the girls by the end of the first quarter. They were down 13-9. After that, it was all the Bulldogs as the defense tightened up and only allowed 14 points the rest of the game. Romeo scored 45 points and the Lady Dogs chalked up their eighth win, 54-27. Katie Becker continued her hot shooting streak, making all 12 of her free throws and topped all scores with 20. In the second part of the doubleheader, the boys' team hit the hardwood to take on the Eagles of Eisenhower for first place in the MAC Red Division. The dogs hit on hard times as they lost at the buzzer. Here's how it happened. He gets it over the timeline. 35 seconds to go in the basketball game. Zarafa with it up to Bartnick. Bartnick, 11 points in the quarters, turned on fire. Zarafa takes his time, 25 seconds to go in the basketball game here. 51, 51. Post exchange down low. They're Petros. trying to get something released from Petros. Yeah. Steven Saliga staying in his back pocket. They're working hard. Down to 12 seconds. Zarapa, he's going to take a free throw shoot, shot. And it's no good. Rebound Petros. And it goes down with five seconds to go. Here comes Thomas. Three seconds to go. Two seconds. He puts it up at the buzzer. It right. doesn't go. Michigan High School football is a little sadder this week as Sterling Heights Stevenson coach of 35 years is calling it a career. Rick By hangs up his spikes right next to four state championship games, 16 league titles, and 268 wins. That makes him tied for 12th place in the state of Michigan. Rick will be missed here at Channel 6. He was always so gracious when Romeo played Stevenson. Well, that's it for sports, Jeannie. Well, thanks, Paul. As we wrap up this newscast, we meet Angie Mazinski, who celebrated her 101st birthday, surrounded by her friends at the Romeo Senior Center. When 